but there are no strict rules. There, like Neil said, there's no right or wrong way of doing these in set instructions that are in front of you. Um, and please be as creative as you wish. And uh, again, we hope you have fun. Three, two, and one. We're going to begin with movement one. Let's get to clapping and stomping. Perhaps there's no sequel. And so there's also this question of like, uh, sequels are always considered to be worse than the original. Um, but also there's this question of perhaps like the world that we're living in, the context we're living in at this moment, there's no sequel for it because we're starting something new or like we just don't make it. Uh, so I think they're, they're, they're both open as possibilities. And I think a lot of the product is organized around these ideas of being open to contingency, open to the possibility of something changing, open to uh, the reality that we don't have certainty about many things, yet we hold on to this uh, sort of idol of certainty. And I'm sort of interested in thinking about ways that we can break ourselves out of that um, by playing, um, but using that play towards thinking about new modes of um, making sense of political futures. So. for your progress. In the spirit of sort of thinking about this idea of improvisation and like leaving a sentence unfinished and inviting other people to sort of pick up where you left off, uh, Jawad and I have uh, created a list of instructions that we've divided into movements that invite the public um, at Rice University to come and perform uh, these pieces with a particular attention to what happens when you get a group of people together uh, to play together um, to produce sound through that sort of cacophony of voices and sounds and hums and haws and other nonverbals that we're able to create something really beautiful. There's a ton of public art here, which is super exciting to think about uh, so much art being concentrated here in one place uh, and thinking about what a privilege it is to be invited into this context. Um, and I'm really excited about the location of this project because it is in a well-trafficked area uh, and students have the opportunity to engage with it. Um, whether they intend to or not, because they're either walking by it or they're drinking coffee and looking at it, or they happen to sit down on the grass. And so I kind of like its uh, sort of um, presence as this thing that um, you kind of can't avoid in a lot of ways. So there's an opportunity for um, engagement and repeated interaction that's really exciting. And so I'm really excited to be part of the third iteration of the platform series. We're running, running very, very low on time. We have predicted that time is over. And for you, how much more time do you want for your car?